Hi, this is Kai. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate um, how a telescope like Seastar, which is an alt osmuth mounted telescope, um, how does it find the stars um, and what costs fuel rotation in telescopes like this. Okay, so <clears throat> You can see from here, Sea Star has two axes of rotation. It can rotate this way through the base, or it can raise the arm up and down. That's the only way it can move. So let me just show you, make sure everyone's on the same page. I'm moving it based on this axis now. This is the base axis this way all right and the other axis is up and down arm up and down up and down okay so this is the basis of the movement of this telescope Again, it's called an alt osmuth mount. Alt for altitude. Osmuth is the other axis. And this is a type of mount that is very typical for, for entry level telescope. And this is um, one example. Okay, so let's uh, demonstrate how does a telescope that's his thing to image to start. As you know, the Earth rotates. So I have a model of the of Earth. It's a globe that rotates along the ax uh, the polar axis. This is North Pole, this is South Pole. Let's assume I'm going to image right this spot. This is uh, it's in the middle of the ocean for now, but um, it's a good mark for me to kind of give a reference point. And what I want to do is I want to image this stuff. Right here. So how do we do that? So I have my, a model of my telescope here. This is my telescope. So this is my base. I can rotate this way. Or I can move my arm. Um, this kind of gives you an idea of the orientation of the arm because the sensor uh, kind of attached to the optical train that kind of dictate how the how the sky is imaged to the sensor through the optics. So my arm can move this way or rotate this way, but my arm cannot move any other way. It only this axis or this axis. Just like that uh, telescope I just showed you before. So I'm going to level my telescope now on my spot. Here, you see that? Let's say I'm in this. I'm in this position. Let's say. Let's say. Actually, easier. Let's go on this side. And I want to image that star. How do I do that? Notice my orientation. Let's say for now, my camera is kind of parallel to my horizon this way. I mean my. This, my, this way. Notice what happens. There we go. So I rotate this way and then I move this way. You see now the, it's pointing at the star. Okay, you see that? So center here, this way. Okay, you see where the, how, how the sensor is kind of this way. Now the Earth's going to rotate. So what does that mean? So it's going to rotate this way. So as it rotate, of course my arm is not facing the star anymore. So what do I do? Well, actually, actually let's pretend we, oh, we go this way because uh, otherwise we'd be behind horizon. So let's say my Earth right now is here. Okay, I didn't move this at all, but you see this. It's not facing that way, it's not facing the star. So how did it get there? Remember I can go this way, right? And I can rotate, but you say I can't get to the star. 
So what does it do? It do that. It will probably rotate this way and then move my arm this way. Got it? You see the orientation of the of the camera now? It's facing down. Before it's facing here. Now it's here. Because the earth rotates and I'm sticking this space. So if you have a good mental picture of that, this is why when you take a picture of the star, the the way the star is imaged onto the onto the sensor, even though the sensor is still at the star, but because the orientation of the sensor is changed, the actual image that you stack them now rotates. A perfect example is you see the star trail along the polar Polaris, the North Pole. Polaris above North Pole. Where's Polaris? Polaris, this North Pole Polaris is right here. So if I'm imaging a imaging a star trail, a very typical camera, and I have my, my camera here, you see right here? It's it's looking at this North Star right here. So if the Earth rotate, this part will always point to the North Pole, right? But you see how it just, it's kind of arc around? So all the other stars around North uh, Polaris will, will form a circle. That's why you have these concentric circles um, in, a, in a star trail if the Polaris is right in the middle. That's exactly the same thing about, uh, it's the same, same geometry and optics as, uh, as uh, field rotation. Because the camera, uh, the, the telescope, it's only allow you to these two specific orientations, rotation this way or arm moving this way, you will always have that um, field rotation. Um, uh, if, if you use uh, the sea star. Now there's actually two spots in the world where you can actually put your sea star, image at a star, and will have no field rotation. Where do you think that would be? One is in the North Pole and one in the South Pole. Let me demonstrate. Here is my, here's my platform here. I'm gonna put my telescope here. So here it is. So this is my base, I can rotate this way. And my telescope aiming at the star. As the Earth rotates, but because I can also rotate the base, notice if I rotate the base, now I can get back to the star. Exactly the same uh, uh, direction of, uh, as before. The only thing I did is simply just rotate the base of my telescope. So it's, that's why it's only at this North Pole or South Pole we have this special property so that um, if you're able to rotate the, the base at the same rate to counteract the rotation of Earth, your telescope will always point at the star, same star, and at exactly the same orientation with the camera. In that case, you have no fuel rotation. Now that is the key, because we're gonna take advantage of that fact to change our sea, sea star into equatorial mounted telescope. And I'll show you that to you in the next video. Let me demonstrate one more time. Before, I'm pointing here, because the Earth rotate, but if I can counteract that rotation, with my base, I'll always be there. Same as same spot, always there. But if I push anywhere else, because it's not the pole, this you cannot do. You have to somehow, you can, you can because of those two axes, you will, the camera will always be rotated as, as the Earth rotates. All right, I hope that's clear. Bye for now, have fun with C-Start.